We have an iPhone 6 sent in from North Carolina. Don't know what happened to the device. This looks almost I don't, intentional. The logic board is snapped clean in half. I'm hoping that the CPU and the memory the NAND are intact. And we're definitely going to have to do a uh, board swap. All right, so we have the first section of the logic board removed. So the CPU is beneath this shield. Um, hoping it's intact. What we're gonna have to do is transfer the NAND and the CPU. Hopefully um, the phone turns on at that point and we can recover the customer's data because this is a data recovery, not a repair. I'm going to start by removing the customer NAND. So we have our customer NAND chip removed. It appears that all the pads are intact, so this looks promising. Now I'm just going to check that the Logic EEPROM is intact. Hopefully it is, or we're screwed. Probably should have checked this first. Oh my God. No way. So I'm not gonna be able to use the JCID um, to read and write the EEPROM data. We're just going to transfer the chip at this point. So I'm gonna swap the very tiny um, Logic EEPROM chip first because it's super tiny and it's literally hanging from our customer board by two pads and I don't wanna lose it. So I'm going to go ahead and swap it before we do anything else. Customer Logic EEPROM installed on donor board looks okay. So we're going to proceed with pulling the CPU and then reballing CPU, NAND, and RAM, installing it onto our donor, and hopefully the phone turns on.
not noticed this before, dude. Looks like there is a crack in the NAND. We're still gonna proceed and hopefully we get lucky, but it's not looking too good because it looks like, yeah. We have a crack in the NAND. Shit. So we have normal amp draw, even with that crack we found in the NAND. It's not game over just yet. We tested on DC power supply and the phone is still drawing normal amperage, which means uh, it doesn't look like there is a short inside of the NAND. Is the NAND going to work? Probably not, but we're still gonna try. We're going to proceed with uh, CPU installation and go from there. All the chips are installed onto the donor board. Not feeling too good about this one because of that crack we found at the top of the NAND IC. But we're still going to test the phone and hopefully it works, but I'm fairly confident that it will be maybe stuck in DFU mode or stuck on an infinite Apple logo because it's very likely that there is a problem with our NAND IC. But we might get lucky, so let's try it out. We have an Apple logo. Can we get to the operating system? Look at that. We are in. Wow. <laughs> the phone has booted to the operating system. I'm honestly surprised this worked because of that, that crack we found in the NAND and also just considering the horrible condition this phone was in and the logic board being snapped completely in two pieces, but we're in. We're gonna be able to recover the customer's data. We'll run a quick recap. Uh, this phone came in like this, and the logic board was snapped in uh, two. Uh, we had to pull the customer's uh, CPU and NAND, and also the logic EEPROM happened to be hanging on by just two pads. Uh, so we couldn't use um, a reader to read the data and transfer it to the donor board. So we just transferred the chip. And then as we were reballing the CPU and the NAND, um, actually after installation of the NAND onto the donor board, we noticed a hairline crack going through it. So that was very concerning. Uh, but after installing the CPU and the RAM, the phone turned on and booted straight to the operating system. So it was a successful data recovery job. Um, if you're in need of a service like the one you've seen in this video, uh, repair data recovery, there's a link in the bio to submit so that you can mail in to us. Um, and if you're new to the channel and you learned something in today's video, please like and subscribe and we will see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.